She has four faces, paint up is tidy, clean and sharp lines, no mispaints. Sculpts are great, likeness is perfect. She only has three pairs of hands, plus one left hand, just enough for her iconic poses. Sculpts are unique, paint up is smooth semi-gloss pink, a two-star luminous earth dragon ball, opaque metallic orange, tidily painted. Last, a set of generic stand base. You need to assemble it yourself. Quite low accessories count overall. Expressions are well varied. Enough for iconic poses. Matte finish is smooth and even. Open mouth is not sculpted, unfortunately. The bangs are perfectly fit with the helmet. Remarkable sculpting. She is a very pleasant figure to look at. Helmet is beautifully crafted. Visible seam lines though. Remarkable paint job. No misbands on the lines. No noob marks. You can take off the helmet too. Here is elastic. The left and right strands are articulated. Smooth. No noob marks visible. Too bad Bandai didn't provide alternate hair for her. Sculpts are good, but just as Goku. Her proportion is not accurate. She's too slim and too curvy for a kid. Color theme is delightful. Great screen accuracy. Paint job is impeccable. Color separation is outstanding, with few untidiness, hardly noticeable. Visible gaps at waist area. Few noob marks on the chest and thigh, hardly noticeable. Armor, gloves, and boots are slightly glossy, but everything else is matte. Gorgeous. Interesting design on the shoulder armor. The peg is located on the butterfly joint. You can safely take it off. Similar design as Scouter 2, Nappa, Radix. Chi Chi is the only DB girl that has butterfly joints. The cape is attached permanently on her back. The cape is unusually cheap looking for a figwart. Thin flexible plastic sheet, not easily torn though. Here's how she compares in height with other figuarts. I think she's too tall. She weighs a mere 26 grams, almost half of Kid Goku's weight. Head range is good. Only looking up is hindered. The joints are great, tight but easy to move. Not weak, not squeaky. Arm range is good. Butterfly joints are available. Elbow is single hinged. Wrist is common figwarts joint. Torso is great.
waist rotates 360. Looks ugly because of oval shaped waist though. Visible gaps as well. Fi is great. Knee is single hinged. Ankles and toes work great. Boot size is too big for her. Cape is thin and flexible. Not a great look. Side hair is jointed. Range is okay. Chichi is a solid figure arts overall, great character design, amazing build quality, and excellent paint job. She's a must-have if you're into classic Dragon Ball figure arts. Otherwise, there are lots of better character choice in Dragon Ball Z and Super. For $50, she's not cheap, but it's still a fair price for a freshly designed figure. She's not mandatory to collect and will be better displayed if you've already owned Goku Kit. On a final note, it's sad that you need to spend almost $200 to create this display. If you find my videos useful, please support me by sharing, press like, and subscribe so I can continue making great videos for you. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.